Well, it looks like Harvey Weinstein's going down for the count. What's going on, everybody? It's Spicy Topics. And yes, Harvey Weinstein, he was charged today, found guilty on two out of the three criminal charges for sexual assault. This man got anywhere between five and 25 years. He will be convicted and they'll sentence him rather in March. So I know that's a anxious time for him. He don't know if he gonna have five years or 10 or 15 or just the whole 25 years. The only good thing out this case that I heard of is that he did escape the predatory sexual assault conviction. So they didn't find him guilty for just ball out raping but he was found guilty for, like I said, two out of the three charges where he got sexual assault in the third degree, which gives him anywhere between, again, five and 25 years mandatory time. Of course, his lawyers are going to appeal this, but the, the bottom line is there's a message in this. Like, you got to really be careful to the men. Me Too movement is after you, okay? They're watching. They're going to hit every job, every state, every city, every country, and every county. They're trying to make sure that all women are getting the respect that they believe that they deserve. My advice, my unsolicited advice, okay, is that you pay attention if a woman sounds like she's not interested she's not interested don't push give her her inches stay away from her personal space yes stay away from her personal space don't be all up in a woman's face give her at least five to ten inches away especially in business settings if it's somebody you don't know if it's if it's say your children go to the same school and you at a meeting you want to make sure that you establish healthy boundaries and stay away from women to give them their personal space because they are going after men like never ever before so yes you definitely want to be careful if they say no they mean no they don't want you they don't want you move on to the one that does if it was up to me you would probably wouldn't don't try to hit on any of them let them come to you you know but that's not the way god ordained but these days there is so much distinction it's, it's hard to actually it's hard to determine what is a violation and what is just you trying to talk to somebody these days because of me too movement so those boundaries have been crossed and you have to take special precautions so you won't end up like harvey weinstein and to the women, my advice is don't go into any man's hotel room. A lot of these situations, whether it was with Antonio Brown, Harvey Weinstein, even the late Kobe Bryant, these situations happen in hotels. Anybody with common sense would think you're coming to my hotel room. You probably want to get personal. You probably want to drink some wine. You probably want to get to know each other really quick and want to get it on really fast because you're in someone's hotel room. Now, I know with most of these situations with Harvey Weinstein, these women said that he usually had his business meetings up in his hotel rooms. But to me, that don't fly. That does not fly. A hotel room always is always going to imply the same thing. It's always going to be a place where you get sexual. So when you go into a man's hotel room, you he probably is under the assumption that something's going down. If he has something you want and you go to his hotel room, you probably are going to send him mixed messages. So I would just say if you don't want to be victim shamed, if you don't want to be criticized, if you don't want to be prejudged then make sure that you take the right precautions stay out of their hotel rooms okay stay out of private places go in public settings where people can witness what's going on where you could feel more safe just think about the risk that you're you're taking by meeting somebody just take those precautions me i would think about what if something happened should should i go here can something happen here where no one can witness if that's the case, don't go. Don't put yourself in a predicament where you're going to be, could possibly be in trouble and nobody can help you and nobody might believe you because you went into their hotel rooms. Because I'm going to be honest with you, a lot of these situations, when I when I read they were in the room, I looked at them sideways like what you thought it was. You can't give somebody mixed messages. It's to me, it's just not fair. But in this day and age, like I said, you have to really take those precautions, whether you are a man or if you were a woman, because they mad with people saying that they victim shaming but yet you got these women going up to these men's hotel rooms don't make sense to me common sense tells me that if i go into a man's room that nine times out of ten ten times out of ten he's going to expect something you don't want to do that you don't want to pe have people judge you 
you know, and look at you sideways, you know, if you telling the story, this happened and that happened, nobody can really prove that. And in the court of law, it's not what you know anyway, it's what you can prove. It's hard to prove it was predatory if you up in the room. So yeah, like I said, be careful, take precautions. We'll see what happens with Harvey. One thing I didn't notice is that a lot of media outlets, man, they go ham reporting on Bill Cosby. They went ham on R. Kelly. They, they look, they thirsty and hungry to put out any type of information they can when it comes to R. Kelly. But you can't hardly see that with Harvey Weinstein. There was not as many, as much media coverage for him as it was for R. Kelly. And that's a, that's what the community is saying by community i mean the black community it just seems like people are trying to make black people out to be predators and monsters but were we, were we monsters in the fact in the case of the emmett emmett uh smith situation when M, is it emmett smith, emmett smith when the when the boy back in the i think it was the 60s um when he when he was walking in the neighborhood he went to see his uncle and these are back when slavery times was still existing down i believe it was mississippi y'all blame blame my head not my heart and he was walking and, and a white woman said that he whistled at her emmett and um he got tortured he was tortured and he was killed with torture they tortured him at a, at a young age i believe he was 14 years old his mom and you can see him the pictures on google you can google his his actual casket and she wanted it to be an open casket for people to remember what they did to him he looked like a 90 year old man in that casket because this white woman said that he whistled at her this woman is alive today she's she's old but she's alive she is alive do you get where i'm going okay let me take you there we're not monsters any monster would have said let me get revenge on this woman okay she lied about this boy she took this boy from this world when he was young she put caused heartache and pain on this boy's family she caused pain on this boy physically emotionally mentally physiologically psychologically you know she she tore him destroyed him and she lied about him if she was if 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 the black community was monsters they would have killed this woman she wouldn't be alive they'll kill her tomorrow they'll kill her yesterday if that was the case but it seems like in this country i don't understand why you would take somebody away from their home country africa bring them here to work for you and don't pay bring them here and then keep them bound I mean, I would think if you're jealous and you hate them, you would keep them where they are, away from you. But that's what happened to us, and that's what I'm seeing. And yes, it, it is very relevant to this situation because Harvey Weinstein didn't get all that coverage when it came to his case. He it just did it. Bill Cosby, they tried to destroy his character, his name. They wanted to destroy all the family type of idea we had of, of uh bill cosby from watching the cosby shows they try to take that from us steal it strip it from us with r kelly all the music he wrote all the songs we enjoyed they tried to strip all the joy and the purity if there was any out of all of these men all of these men they publicized russell simmons publicized antonio brown publicized R. Kelly publicized Bill Cosby. Oh, publicized Michael Jackson. All of them. But when I look at Harvey, he didn't get that much media coverage. But um, yeah, Harvey's gonna pay for it regardless. Hopefully, y'all take my advice. Don't get too close to that woman. And if she say no, I don't. And, and, and a lot of times we smile at you. That don't mean we want you. Cause a lot of what I hear men say a lot. Oh yeah, you smiling. You want me. You like me. no nigga. No, that don't mean I like you. Don't get it twisted. Be smarter than that. Get out of your emotions. So thank you all for listening. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I will be back with more news. Peace.